Who is better, Saitama, Garo, or Genos? Well, today I'm going to be playing as all three of these characters and finding out which one is best. And real quick before we get into this video, if you guys want to get some drippy suits, be sure to check out my Roblox group where I sell super high quality suits like the one I'm wearing right now. It's called Full Circle and it's linked in the description down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Alright, so I'm going to be ranking every single character from worst to best in my opinion. So some of you guys may agree, some of you guys may disagree, but this is all my opinion. Okay, hold on. Like, this guy just wants to die. Like, I knew he was going to attack me. Like, the way this guy ran up on me, like, you could tell this guy was up to no good. Um, so let me go ahead and just kill this guy real quick. Alright, so we're going to be starting off with the worst character first. Let's go. Alright, so as you guys can see, in rank number 3, we got Saitama, alright? So, I just want to go ahead and put this out there first of all before I start ranking these and telling you guys why I think this is the rank. Every character is good, it just depends on how you use it. So, I'm going to be looking at things from a combo like perspective and seeing what does the best combos, what does the best damage, and what's overall the best thing you guys can use for ranked. And um, yeah, as you guys can see, we got third in third place, we got Saitama, and we're going to be starting off by looking at the combos first, alright? Alright, so Saitama has two really good combos. So the first one is like 100 to 0 like combo. So this is really good, but it's like you gotta land it. Like sometimes it's hard to actually land this in a 1v1 when you're fighting a real person. But this is how the combo goes. And then right after that, you finish off with the punch. And as you guys could see, he's pretty much dead. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, he's dead. So as you guys saw, that did 100 to 0 health. Um, so this is the best Saitama combo, but like I said, man, like a lot of people could get out of this combo, which kind of is bad. So it's, it's it's good, but it's hard to actually land in a 1v1. But let's move on to the next combo. All right, so this next combo I'm about to show you guys is a lot easier to pull off in the actual 1v1 against a real person. So it starts off like this, and then you hit him with the uppercut, and then you go back in another four M1s, and you finish off with the with a normal punch. And as you guys can see. Um, we're gonna go up to the dummy real quick and yeah look did tons of damage as you see 12% left on the dummy so this is a lot easier to pull off in a 1v1 rather than the first one so um yeah another reason why i put saitama as number three on our list here is because saitama doesn't really have a special type of move obviously he has the death counter but if you look at garo he has that one counter move genos has range um but saitama is kind of lacking Alright, so next we're going to be looking at Saitama's alt. So he has death counter and table flip. So first we're going to be looking at death counter. It's literally in the name. So death counter is literally, if somebody hits you, you just hit him with a death counter. But the thing that sucks about this, it has a timer. So if the timer runs out and nobody hits you, you end up just wasting your ultimate. Um, so that's the death counter. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you guys an example afterwards. But his next move or his next ultimate move is the table flip. And the, the table flip is actually a really good move. So it's one of the only moves in the game that actually one-shots. Um, besides the death counter but like this has aoe you could get multiple people with the table flip so it's really really good and um yeah you could if you're fighting somebody you just get them in the m1 and then you just pop the table flip and look at that range it has lots of range and you end up just killing them um so yeah now that i showed you guys the basic combos and understanding of saitama we're gonna go ahead and hop into a ranked 1v1 and i'll be showing you guys saitama in ranked all right Alright, so before we hop into a rank 1v1, let me just show you guys death counter. So if somebody hits you while you have death counter active, it's basically just a free kill. So you literally just counter them by giving them death, I guess. And yeah, there we go. That's the death counter. Okay, pause. I said death counter and somebody is literally with the name of death in front of me. Oh uh, yeah, that, that's that's low-key. That's low-key cool, I guess. But um, yeah, next thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is Saitama in ranked. But don't get me wrong, like Saitama is a good character. Alright, so I just hop into a ranked match and this is all I see. I think this dude is literally playing on McDonald's Wi-Fi right now. Like, I don't even want to try to win. Like, I would feel bad trying to win. Like, what is this? One hour later. Bro, it's been a couple of minutes and this guy is just still lagging. Like, look at this. Like, what, what would you guys do if you see this? Three hours later. Oh, nah. Okay, if there's ever one lesson I have for you guys is trust nobody. This guy made me believe he was a noob, and I was just watching him, and he just got me with the nastiest combo. He, bro, look at him. He's trolling. He literally just said epic troll. I don't know what he used there to make himself look laggy, but yo, that's low-key broken. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and just try to beat this guy now, because obviously we're Saitama. I'm trying to show you guys some basic Saitama combos in ranked. But yeah, as you can see, Saitama is a pretty simple character to use. He just doesn't have a lot of range. That's one thing I don't really like about Saitama. Like, he doesn't really have range uh, compared to the other people. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just getting this guy in a combo now. So Saitama combos are pretty simple to, to know, but 
Um, like I said, it's not the best, and honestly, okay, this guy just popped us all, but like I was saying, um, there is no bad character. Like, Saitama is a good character. If you know how to use Saitama, by all means, go ahead and just main him. Like, every character is good, but I'm just going off by, like, what I personally think the best ones to use right now are, like, what the meta is. Um, so yeah, Saitama is a good character, but, like, if you actually want to go ahead and, per like, get far in ranked, I would suggest using, like, other characters, but yeah, let's keep moving. Alright, now it's time to go ahead and finish him, and there we go. We just beat this guy, and um, honestly, that's been Saitama, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next character on our list. Also, number two we have is Genos. So I know some of you guys may be surprised by this, like, why is Genos number two and not number one? Um, one of the main factors is Genos does not have his ultimate yet. Like, I know he has his ultimate and gets his health back now, but he still doesn't have his moves. Like, if you look at Garu, he has his moves and he gets his health back, um, but yeah, Genos doesn't have that. One good thing about Genos is he has a lot of range, so let me go ahead and show you guys a good combo with Genos. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with combo number one, which is this one right here. And then right after this, you hit him with the Blitz, and then right after that, you follow up with Jet Dive. So this combo right here actually melts. As you can see, he has, what, 15% health remaining. So this is by far one of the best Genos combos, um, but like I said, it's hard to actually land in an actual 1v1. Alright, so here's another combo with Genos that's a lot easier to land in a 1v1. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing this. And then right after this, you follow up with this. And then to finish it off, you hit with that. Um, so obviously, we don't use our Jet Dive because they get launched away. Um, but if you see your opponent like close by, you could obviously add your Jet Dive. But most of the time, they just get launched. And it does pretty decent damage. As you can see, it did a little more than half. Um, but yeah, they nerfed Genos a lot. If you guys don't know, Genos used to be so much better and was by far the best. But they nerfed it, alright? Alright, so here we are in a ranked 1v1, and as you guys can see, I ran all of this way just for my opponent to be dancing in the corner. Like, okay, hold on, hold on. If you want to dance, like, I'll, like, I'm not taking that disrespect. We're gonna go ahead and show this person what's up, right? A few moments later. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try to land that combo I showed you guys, alright? There we go. And then we follow up right away with this, and then we hit the blitz. And then right away we hit the jet dive. And there we go. That right there should have, like, look, look at the health, bro. She's already dead. And there we go, we won. Or maybe one more hit. Yeah, there we go. Bro, I'm telling you guys, Genos is really good if you land the combos, but it used to be a lot better, but they nerfed Genos, so that's the problem. And he doesn't have alt. And of course, in number one, we got Garo. So this was a close pick between Garo and Genos for me, but honestly, I just had to pick Garo because of the fact that he has his ultimate and Genos doesn't. Um, if, if Genos has his alt, I would say Genos is better than Garo, all right? And now let me go ahead and show you guys some popular combos with Garo. So this is number one, combo number one. So this one is uh, pretty easy to land in actual 1v1s, and the second one is a little more advanced. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys this one first. And yeah, there we go. At the end, I messed up there, but at the end you could do a little like punch down or kick down thing, but it does pretty decent damage. As you can see, it has 25% HP left, and if you land the, the thing, it does more. Alright, combo number two. So this one's a little more advanced, alright? So you just uppercut them, and then as they fall down, you catch them with no your skill number one, like the flowing water. Um, but yeah, this one does a lot of more damage, alright? So as you can see, it did 21% HP. If you land, like, that last move, the, like, the kickdown, it does a lot more. Like, that kickdown right there, it does more damage, but, um, it's pretty good, man. It's actually pretty good. Alright, so here we are in a ranked match with Garo. So, yeah, as I said, Garo is ranked number one right now, but I feel like as, as soon as they add Genos' ultimate and all the moves, I feel like Genos is gonna be better than Garo. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I would say Je uh, Garo is the best character to use in the game right now. Um, several factors, obviously he has his ultimate, Genos doesn't, and he has, he has like this one move, um, the skill number four, which is the counter move, and I don't know about you guys, but that move is like insanely good, dude. Like that move, look at this, you could counter almost everything, um, so it, it messes people's combos up, so like people try to combo me and I just try to like mess them up by using my counter move so that's one of the main things i like about garo his counter move and his like ultimate is actually really good like you could kill somebody with his ultimate easily um but yeah garo has really good combos as well and overall he's really good okay this guy is pretty much just dead now let me just go ahead and kill him and there we go ultimate game we just beat that guy with garo the best character in the game in my opinion right now Alright, so this has been my ranking of the best characters in Saitama Battlegrounds. So obviously in number 3 we got Saitama, in number 2 we got um, Genos, and number 1 we have Garo. Um, obviously this might change in the future since there's always going to be buffs and debuffs and stuff like that. But if you guys want me to keep updating this every time there's like a character change or something like that, let me know in the comment section down below. But I just want to go ahead and say every character is good once again. It just depends on how you use it. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.